Hello. Welcome back. Hi. Today we're listening to another, another Lana Del Rey album. If you didn't see my NFR, Ultraviolence, or Did You Know There's a Tunnel review, go check those three out. I posted an- another poll after that with the rest of her album saying, hey, yo, which one should I check out next? And uh, most of y'all voted Born to Die. So I don't know if we'll do any of those other ones on those lists. If you guys really want me to, then maybe I will. But yeah, we're going to listen to this, uh, her debut. So we're, we're going to see where her sound kind of started. We're going to listen to it, give our thoughts and our opinions, see if we like it more than, than her other three, and then pick our favorite songs at the end of the video. And then, yeah, song by song, we're going to be talking about it. If you, go, if you guys want to check out any more Lana Del Rey or any other artists from here on out, yeah, just drop your recommendations in the comments, as always. Uh, I love and appreciate all of you. If, if you're new here, feel free to like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, let's let's get into it. Let's hop in. Track number one is the title track, Born to Die. Okay. Come take a walk on the wild side. Talking about that song, I was kind of, I was kind of intense, kind of an intense intro. We were kind of immediately introduced to the concept of the album. You know what I'm saying? So she's kind of just like, "Hey, you know, we're gonna die anyways. Let's just make love," sort of thing. So I love the message. It's pretty simple. Let's go get high and have have some fun. Let's kiss in the pouring rain. I think it's a cool little love song. I I, I like I like her lyrics on there. Very extravagant instrumental, I can tell you that right now. And uh, her vocals are pretty dynamic on that. I feel like she was going into a, you know, a lot of different tones. So I'm excited to see where she goes from here. So let's hop on to track number two, which is Off to the Races. Oh man is a bad man, but I can't deny the way he holds my hand and he grabs me. He has me by my heart. Oh. Polish, watch me in the swimming pool, bright blue ripples. You sit and sipping on your black crystal. Oh, yeah. Light of my life, fire of my loins. Be a good baby, do what I want. Fire my loins. Fire my loins. Fire my loins. interesting his loin I don't know if I like that cool. Oh, I like his violins. All right, some some bits of that track that I loved. 
such as you know her kind of deeper her deeper voice you know kind of singing talking you know spoken word bits uh but when she was like fire my loins scarlet scarlet and not really a high pitch singing i don't know i didn't i did not i was not i was not rocking with that part guys i really wasn't you know i see the appeal i see the appeal i, I won't i won't shit on you if, if you play that song in front of me you know i, I would listen to that I wouldn't argue, but it's not my shit. It's not my shit, to be honest. It's not my shit. I don't know. I don't know if I go back to the, you know very descriptive lyrics of you know who this guy is and what they do together. So, I mean, if it wasn't for him, she'd be dead. I think you know, referring back to the concept of dying on this album. So let's hop into track number three, which is Blue Jeans. Well, I like that. I like that effect. I like his drums. I do like that hook. I like that hook. I'm sensing some of the p- precursor elements to ultra violence right there, you know, just the way the production kind of was on there. I think that, you know, these higher pitched vocals might be a theme of this album, you know? She's gonna be singing at a higher pitch. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I feel like I tend to gravitate towards her songs, such as on Ultra Violence or NFR, where she's kind of singing at a, at a lower tone. So, I mean, if, if, if I gotta listen to the higher pitched vocals, all over this album it is what it is you know what i'm know what i'm saying i just i just kind of i don't know i feel like it's not her you know continuing on with you know her needs to love that guy you know her unwilling her unwavering want to just show him love because she's not like the bitches that came before you know she's different she's different let's hop on a shock number four which is video games Open up a beer and you say get over here and play a video game. Is that a harp? I'm in his favorite sundress, watching me get undressed. Take a body downtown to play a video game. What video game? It's you, it's you, it's all for you. Everything I do, I tell you all the time. Heaven is a place on. See, this is the kind of vocal pitch that I, I fucking want, bro. He holds me in his big arms, drunk, and I am seeing stars. This is all I think of. Watching all our friends fall in and out of all claws. This is my idea of fun. Playing video games. Are they even playing video games, though? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely my favorite so far. For sure my favorite. For sure. You know, I lo- I love the vocal consistency that was just within that, you know. I, I told y'all, like I said, the deeper vocals, I'm there for. 
the pace of it too i also loved the hook and chorus as well her description of the dude and what they do on a daily basis and you know their their activities i found to be interesting as well so yeah just an overall great fucking song i got nothing bad to say about that one i got nothing bad to say about that so let's hop on track number five which is diet mountain dew yeah i don't know I like that ending but i don't know about that song um yeah pretty pretty fast pace fast pace with the with the vocals um with the hook too i don't, I don't know if it's just because i like the slower pace of the song that came before it, you know so that kind of faster pace song kind of threw me off maybe that might be it plus i don't know what diet mountain do has to do with anything <clears throat> i mean i thought it was cool you know i'm not hating i'm not hating I'm not hating. I'm just saying, not my cup of tea. Uh, let's hop on track number six, which is National Anthem. Some fireworks. Um, I love that hook. I love the hook. Uh, and, and I love the meaning that she wants to be in this dude's life. Um, the production, too, was great. Uh, I think my only gripe with that song is that, you know, her, uh, the, some of the lyrics and her pronunciation of some words kind of made my skin crawl a little bit. I'm not going to say any specifics. But, you know, it's just some of the shit that she was saying was kind of making me want to throw up. You know, just the way she pronounced some words, you know, I'm sorry. Let, let, <laughs> let's hop on the track number seven, uh, which is dark paradise my sister my sister wanted to make an effort to like y'all know that you know this is her favorite song so we're gonna listen to we're gonna listen to her song all my friends tell me i should move on i'm lying in the ocean singing your song oh, that's how you sang it 
These drums are crazy. So I gotta say, uh, that that in video games, that's my uh, that's my two right now. That's my two right now. I thought that was great. You know the production and everything about that. The, those drums, those are hit me. Those are crazy. I thought our vocals were great. Uh, everything about that song was just perfect to me. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, th I thought it was an absolute banger. That was a banger. I loved her vocals on it and everything. I got no complaints. I got no complaints. And that's it. Uh, let's hop into track number eight which is radio not even they can stop me now will i be flying overhead the heavy words can't bring me down I'm liking this so far. Right, I'm a fan. I'm a fan, kinda. I mean, the chorus was most of the song, but that was nice. That was nice. I, I, I like that little delay that was in the beginning. I know that that production was very atmospheric. You know, I thought it was very dense. So I was a fan of that one right there. But yeah, you know, she's like, "Hey, I'm on the radio now. So what's the word?" A nice little track to follow up the one that came before it. That's for sure. Uh, let's hop into track number nine, which is Carmen. Carmen, Carmen, staying up till morning, only 
17, but she walks the streets so mean. She says, You don't want to be like me, looking for fun, getting high for free. I'm dying, I'm dying. Like God, her mind's like a diamond. For you tonight, she's still shining. Like a diamond. Oh, oh, oh. Like a diamond. Dying cherry not smiling, doing party favors. Put your red dress on, put your lipstick on. Okay. I'll fuck up this part. This is different. bit of storytelling that was nice got to learn a little bit about Carmen right there I feel like you know this album has actually advanced you know since the beginning you know I think I'm liking this little three track run that we're on right now let's see if we can continue our little streak right now of no misses all right let's let's keep this thing going 10 which is million dollar man oh my god said I was the most exotic flower holding me tight and I find a love I don't know what you do it's unbelievable and I don't know how you get over get over someone is dangerous Oh yeah, this is nice. I'm like I'm I'm loving this. I love you, honey. I'm ready, I'm ready to go. How did you get that way? I don't know. It's screwed up and really and look like a million dollar man. So why is my heart broke? That was nice. And I love the main the main part of it, you know. She's like, if you're so rich, if you got so much wealth, then why then why are my emotions broken? Why'd you break my heart? You know, why why is my heart broke if you're rich? You know, that that's what she's saying. That's what she's saying. So, I mean, I love that song. I love the little distorted guitar too. I love that part of it. I just, I just think it was a perfect song. Uh let's hop into this next song, which is Summertime Sadness. Uh I know this song, of course.
I love I love the way that fades out. I think that I think that I'm so used to hearing the uh the remix. You know what the little EDM factor? I think I'm so used to hearing that. I haven't heard I haven't heard the full original song. I don't think probably ever. You know, maybe I I think I must have in my life, but it's been so long. I, I'm so used to hearing the big high energy that you know. Um, yeah, that song is banger. Song is perfect in my opinion, though. I mean, it's 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 great. You know, it's great in nature. I mean, who doesn't love a good juxtaposition? Oh shit, good word. Good word. Drop a like for that one. Drop a like for that vocabulary. You know what I'm saying? You don't hear that word every day. This is what makes us girls. So we're going to find out what makes us girls. Remember how we used to party up all night? Sneaking out, looking for a taste of real life. Drinking in the small town firelight. Pops blue ripping on ice. Sweet 16. No. With the boss. All I can think about, all I can think about is how do you go from this to A and W? You know what I'm saying? How, how do you do that? How do you do that? Because that is quite the fucking change. That is quite the fucking change. Um, yeah, I like that song. I thought we ended off pretty cool. And I liked how, you know, she gave this scene of how, you know, she had to leave. You know, they were making her go and she was waving goodbye on the train, knowing that her life was going to change permanently. You know, so I like that as the closer. I think it's good. Some parts of it I didn't like. Um... I think looking at every song on here, I can tell you that each song had a factor that I very much loved and another another part of it had a factor that I just didn't like at all, you know. And I think I think it I think I fucked up because I I, I like this album, but I feel like on a lot of songs she's trying to do, you know, multiple different things at once. She's kinda, you know, switching up her vocals a lot, you know, going from this tone to the next, trying to, you know, hit a hit a lot of different spots, you know. So I think you know, this was obviously a very successful, because it worked, you know, part of, you know, being commercial. You know, I, I think it's a very commercial and popular sound. So, and I think I, I tend to look for more depth within her music just because of the albums that I heard. So, I think surface level, this is incredibly enjoyable. I, I don't think, you know, I, any of these songs would displease me. I, I, I think I'm just trying to look more deeper into it, you know, within these a lot of these songs. And it's just sort of hard for me to do but i overall i still enjoy this project you know i thought it was very entertaining <laughs> i did i did enjoy this album if i had to pick my favorite songs probably born to die uh video games that's for sure dark paradise radio million dollar man summertime sadness those are probably the ones that i enjoyed the most so yeah uh, that's what i i have to think if you guys want to do any other lana del rey just let me know in the comments and you know, maybe maybe i'll post another poll because because yeah, the other albums did not get a lot of votes so i don't know if i'll do any more maybe, maybe that there's another artist that i should dive into their discography instead so yeah let me know thank you so much for watching i love and appreciate all y'all and have a good day